All right. That's good, everybody. Welcome in. Got 12 orders going out. Actually, I think I have two more sales, too, that I got to pack up after the live that just sold. What's up, Trisha? Is it working on IG? Oh, yeah. Surf sub ends and you're here now. Yeah, that's perfect timing. I wasn't, wasn't paying attention. I don't see you live. The call to my profile. Let me see it. <clears throat> Seeing if uh, I'm trying to get live on Instagram, but I, I don't know how to get it to work. Nope, it's not live. Dang, I don't know how to get it to go live. Chris got it to go live, but for some reason it's not working. What's up, Elliot? Yeah, it's not live. No, it's live. Put it all in correctly, but I don't know why it's not working. Came from Surf's Up Thrift Trip. Let's go. Appreciate everybody hopping on over from Surf's Up. We got 12 orders to pack up from yesterday. Listed a bunch yesterday. I think I listed 31 items yesterday and I cross listed all of them. And one of the items I listed last night after the live sold last night after the live sold really quick. Appreciate all the uh, everybody joining the team, doing the little team badges. Appreciate you all. Uh, we'll go ahead and get started. Let me move. Um, my YouTube and Facebook off to the side so I can see my screen and we'll go ahead and get started. The bromance is strong. Absolutely. Of course it is. You already know. First up, this is a mammoth sweater. M A M M U T. I will tell you guys this, the uh, men's actually sell a lot better than the women's in this brand. Um, well, I thought this was going to be a really good sale because the last one I sold was a men's sweater and that one sold for like 80 bucks. Kayla picked this one up last week. Um, we listed it for 30 bucks and uh, we listed it for 40 bucks and I got an offer of 30 pretty much uh, within a few days. So we just went ahead and took it. We paid 13 38. We paid up for this. Um, but again, men's sell a lot better than women's in this brand, unfortunately. Um, but we still made $7.81. It sold really fast. What's up, Dwayne? Sold really fast. So we'll take it. Appreciate everybody hopping in. If you're new here, hit that follow button top left-hand corner. I do these lives every single day. I show you guys what sells. Um, we do live thrifts on this channel. I have a ton of content going over exactly what I do. I buy stuff cheap, resell it online for a profit. That's what I do for a full-time job. So if you're interested in making a little bit extra money, this is the live for you. I already printed out my label from Pirate Ships. All I got to do is slap it on and get it gone. Um, have you ever been to Red, White, and Blue in Louisiana? I've never been to Louisiana at all. Um, but if we're ever passing through, I'm definitely going to have to stop um, and stop at the red, white, blue. I've heard that one is pretty good from um, a couple people in my chat. Next sale. This is a Brooks Brothers brand new with tag pair of shorts. They have these flags and eagles all over them. I picked them up last year knowing that they would probably start selling around this time of year as, as we get closer to um, July 4th. These are probably going to move really quick. Um, I paid ten seventy for these and they sold for 36 bucks after fee shipping cost of kids. I make $13.72. It's pretty much what I'm looking for for retail arbitrage and double up on my money. So that's what we did. Doubled up, doubled up. I have these listed for 45, but I wasn't getting any uh, offers. So I just decided to take them, take this one. Appreciate all the gifts, all the food gifts. All right. Just going to pack this up. I put this in a, one of these bags, the clear poly bags, and these bags are linked in my bio if you want to purchase them through my links. I do get a kickback if you buy them through my links. It's the products I use on a regular basis. I love these bags. These bags seal very, very well, as, long, uh, uh, as well as the um, clear bags. I don't have to worry about them coming undone. So if you want a, a reputable bag that works very well, you can use the link in my bio for Amazon. If you have a Prime membership, it doesn't cost you any more. I just sold a pair of Lucky Brand jeans, so I'll uh, list those after, or I'll ship those after. Kayla just wanted to go pick up the kids. How much sense does this make, by the way? The kids have their last day of school today, and it's a half day, and they leave at, like, 11.15. Like, why do they even make them go to school today? Like, why do you even run a half day if you're just going to have them leave at 11.15? So, Kayla, okay, are you okay? I'm, I'm, I'm perfectly fine. It's probably the lighting. It makes my eyes look uh, like I'm crying. I just woke up to, I always wake up at like 10 o'clock. I'm, I'm a late riser. Good morning from Arizona. What's up, Arizona? Um, Miguel, appreciate the follow. Your ring doorbell. Yeah, my bad. <laughs> yeah, they did the same thing. It's Yeah, state requirements. Yeah, I get it. But why Why even have the kids go to school? Like, 
And of course the kids wanted to go to school today. We're like, you know, you can stay home from school today. There's no point going to school. And they're like, no, we want to go hang out with our friends on the last day. We're like, okay, whatever. Next up, we have a pair. These are really good to be on the lookout for, for you ladies in chat. These are Anthropology Mave Colette Pants. C-O-L-E-T-T-E. Be on the lookout for these because if you look up sell through rate on these and you look up how much they sell for, they go for really good money. They're like a wide leg pair of pants. Kayla just picked these up. She was really surprised at comps on these. They were selling for around 50 bucks on eBay. I got a $45 on Poshmark last night. We just listed these like literally like three nights ago and they sold. So we paid $13.91. They sold for 45 bucks after fee shipping cost of goods. We make $22.09. Really good sale on these. So be on the lookout for Maeve Colette jeans they say anthropology mave on the tag and they will sell really fast our last day is tomorrow and it's a drive through report card pickup unless they want to stay there schools are so weird about that so yeah when i was in school it was like it was a full day your last day was a full day back in my day i used to have to stay there all day on my last day but yeah good sale from kayla good uh Good, uh, good pickup. So we'll be on the lookout for Maeve Colette pants. Sell really well. Really fast sale. This, this lady was asking me a million and one questions too. So I'm glad they sold on Poshmark because I have a feeling she's going to want to try to return them just based off all the questions she asked me. But it's a Poshmark sale, so I don't have to worry about that. It's a full day for my kids. Yeah, maybe it's just a Florida thing. Are y'all not thrifting this week? No, we're taking this week off from thrifting. We're getting some listings done. So if you keep watching my eBay store throughout the day, you're going to see all the listings just keep piling up. But the thing is, um, which is a great thing, I'm actually selling a decent amount. Um, so my, I was hoping to get my store over 2100 again, but I think right now I am, hang on, where am I at on my store, my number? I'm at 2037 and I've listed 90 items this week and I was just under 2000. So I've been selling like crazy this week, which is good, but I wanted to try to get up 2100. I think today I'm going to try to list like 50 items that should put me pretty close to it. And then tomorrow I'll finish it off. Back in the 1900s. Uh, what's up Humphrey? Good morning. Nickety neck. All right. Next sale. Tommy Bahama. This is a silk wool blend, kind of a rare Tommy Bahama. It's got a good color to it too. Um, this one we paid five thirty four for it sold for thirty one bucks on Poshmark. So after fee shipping cost goods, we make nineteen dollars and forty six cents. How do you deal with thrifting FOMO? Probably because you know the competition are the vintage boys and we'll leave the money on the racks. I don't really have FOMO too much, Elliot. I mean, of course, I might be missing stuff. Um, I actually sent um, Nature Coast, who's on TikTok. I actually sent him to the thrift store I normally go to and told him to go get all the good stuff. So I don't feel bad about missing out on it. At least he gets it. But I mean, I have so much stuff and I know how much stuff is left in thrift stores. So it doesn't really affect me. I'll just, I'll just go next week and it'll be full. If, if it was like in my area, if I couldn't find a lot of stuff, then yes, I would have FOMO because I'd be like, if I don't go today, I might miss out on good inventory. But I, I know next week when I go the week after there'll always be good inventory in red, white, and blue. So it doesn't bother me. Uh, what's up Midwest, Midwest out thrifting today. Hopefully you do good. Back in my day, I used to walk 10 miles and three foot in the snow and in the sleet and the rain, like the mailman, up and down hills. Laura, appreciate the follow. All right, so this one is going to go into one of these envelopes. Remember, these are the Tyvek envelopes. I get these free from USPS.com. Um, you order them for free. You ship out them for free. Again, I know this could have been a first-class sale, um, but it's Poshmark, and Poshmark gives you priority mail labels, so you might as well use the free stuff. So don't use your purple um, packaging, use your free packaging. And then I just put two pieces of tape on the outside of these because the stickiness is not that great. Thought we walked uphill both ways. Yeah, we did. We did. While we were carrying the garbage because the garbage man didn't come to our house, so we had to go put it in the neighbor's garbage. And the neighbor's garbage was down the street, around the corner, to the right, up the hill, across the creek, and um, yeah, up the mountain. Yeah. And we couldn't use a bike because grandpa said he never used bikes back in the day. So we weren't allowed to use bikes back in the day. Right. Is that how it went? Something like that. Orders awaiting shipment. All right. Let's ship out. Appreciate you, Scott Way. Let's ship out some eBay sales. We got eight. Well, we have nine eBay sales. One just sold, but I'm not going to ship it on live because I got to go grab it. With all the books because they took away our lockers. Yeah. No lockers allowed either. 
because we couldn't afford a lock for our locker, so we couldn't put anything in our locker. Next up, we have a Lacoste shirt. We just listed this two days ago. Um, the reason I know that is because it's in one of our new bins, and Kayla's been putting away the stuff in the new bins. Paid 803 for this. It sold for 28 bucks. So this is just going to go in a regular envelope. North Face just pulled a stunt similar to Anheuser-Busch. Um, will it affect resale? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe people won't want North Face, but by the time North Face is ready to be sold again, because uh, I got a lot of jackets, they'll they'll probably everybody will forget about it. Like everybody's already forget about the the Bud Light thing. People are back to drinking Bud Light. It takes about a week, and then it's over people's head, and everybody's focused on the next thing to be mad at. Um, are the ten by thirteen bags big enough for pants and jeans? Yes, they are. So hold on, do I have a pair of pants or jeans? I don't have a pair of pants or jeans next to me. Actually, I do. Hold on. This right here is in one of the 10 by 13 bags. These are a pair of Carhartt jeans. I believe these are size 38. So as long as you fold them up correctly, you can get them to fit in these little bags pretty easily. All right, what was this? The Lacoste. Lacoste. Let me grab my scale. Grab my scale. It's 12 ounces. 12 ounces. This is shipping to Miami, so it's going to be pretty cheap to ship. $4.74. No worries. Appreciate the uh, question, Arizona. Appreciate everybody hopping in, too. If you're not following, hit that follow button, top left-hand corner. I do these lives every single morning. If you're watching on Facebook or YouTube and you're watching the replay, comment replay. And then make sure you like and, uh, like and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Like, follow, subscribe, whatever platform, whatever word fits for whatever platform you're watching, do that. There's a lot of different words. Um, so you used to show your hats, stuff them with. So you used to show your hat, stuff them with. I'm not sure what you're asking. Damn you, Trisha. Pride month is June. You're going to be seeing a lot around this time. Yep. People get so pressed over silly stuff in media. Yeah, I don't really watch any. I don't watch any news, so I never know what's going on. I focus on, you know, getting listings done. Like this crappy sale right here. I paid $14.04. These are Mizzen and Main Pants. Don't pick up the Mizzen and Main Pants. They don't sell. I don't know why. It's a good brand. It sells shirts, but the, the pants don't sell. Sold for $20. bucks. i have had these listed forever, and I was like, you know what? I got a $20 offer on these. I'm just going to take them. I'm so over these pants, so we're shipping them out. Show some love. Tap the screen. Appreciate you. Am I watching the replay? You are. You're watching the replay and I'm answering your comment on the replay, which is weird. I'm actually doing this like I knew you were going to make that comment. So I'm commenting on that comment on the replay. So comment back and I might read your comment on the replay. What are the top three thermal printers? I use a Dymo. I would say Dymo, IDPRT, and probably like a Rolo or a Brother printer. Those are probably the best. Trisha just commented replay in the future. So I'm commenting on that comment right now because that's what I do. $8.30. I'm going to lose money on these, but I'm just glad they're gone. Um, what do you use to show your hats? Like to take pictures of them? I just put them in a light box and um, I just take all angles of the, the hat. Um, if that's what you're asking, I don't have like a mannequin or anything. I put it on and I don't really sell too many hats to be honest. So I just throw them in the light box, take photos that way. So many superpowers. Yeah. I got superpowers. I got superpowers. Do you even know they made pants? I actually picked these up from Nordstrom rack. I want to say it was like two years ago, Elliot and uh, bad buy. That was my last pair. I bought three pairs. One of them sold really fast for 45 bucks. The other two took forever to sell. So your time, the timing is impeccable. I know just, I'm just guessing right now that you guys are going to make these comments because this is the replay. Here's another good sale, but it took forever to sell. This is an ex officio shirt. Um, I don't normally pick up this brand, but it was new with tags and I found two of them. The other one already sold this one. I paid 10 67 for just like I did the other one and it sold for 44 99. I wouldn't suggest to pick up this brand unless it's new with tags. And if you want to keep it around for a while, because these don't sell super fast, but they will sell eventually. So full price sale, $44.99 on this bad boy. I'm hilarious. I try to be. All right, this is going to go into an eBay poly mailer. I do have these linked in my bio if you're interested. Um, somebody just signed up for Poshmark. It was weird. I was sitting here with Kayla, and I, I got a notification that somebody, whoever it is, if you're in the chat right now, shout out to you. You signed up for Poshmark 
through my invite code, but I didn't have an invite code posted. So you went through and did the research to find out what my invite code was before you signed up for Poshmark. So shout out to you. You're, you're, uh, you're an all-star. I like people like you, but I did add the Poshmark code to my link tree. Cause I was like, do people really sign up through my links for Poshmark. Most of the people I'm talking to probably already have a Poshmark closet. So if you don't have a Poshmark closet, you can sign up through my link. I think you get like $10. I get $10 or something like that. I don't know. Cause I've never used the code before, but uh, shout out to the person that did it. Um, I also added my Mercari in there too. So if you guys are thinking about doing cross listing and you haven't signed up for Poshmark or Mercari yet, you can always use my invite code. It does give me a little kickback and I think it gives you a kickback too. I don't know what you get for signing up, but I think you get something too. Um, how do you choose between poly mailers um, or USPS? If it's over a pound, it, you have to you. If it's over a pound, you can use USPS poly mailers. If it's under a pound, then you're going to use your own because there is no first class USPS poly mailers. There's only priority mail poly mailers. So, and they're not really poly mailers; they're like bags. But yeah, if it's under a pound, I'm going to use my own. Sometimes, if it's over a pound, I'll use my own, um, or I'll use a USPS. And then if it's over a pound and it's shipping far away, then I'll use a flat rate envelope. I do that for people sometimes. Um, if I'm just reordering somewhere, I'll just go back and use people codes every time. Yeah, I didn't I didn't ha even have the code available. So I don't know how they, they must have done the research to figure out how to find out what my code was. So shout out to them. Um, as a, I have no need for Poshmark, but I can go sign up for you. If you want to, I think if you buy, it's when you buy something, I get $10. I think you get $10 off first purchase. I don't know how it works. So that might be wrong. So I've never used the code before, but I do have it in my bio. If you guys are interested, if you guys want to start selling on Poshmark, I suggest it because I get a decent amount of sales on Poshmark this month alone. Let's see. Um, this month alone, I've sold 68 things on Poshmark and 33 things on Mercari. So it's like 100 sales this month that I've gotten from both platforms. So I got 231 from eBay. So obviously eBay's king. Appreciate you surfs. Look at this. See, we do have a bromance. He's sending me love yous. He's sending me love yous in the chat. I don't know why people get mad um, that people get commissions off stuff. I'm always supporting people. Most of the time, if I get a commission, it's because you're getting a discount too. <laughs> That's how the commission system works. So I don't know either. Some people get mad about it. Some people are like, oh, you're, you're using your influence to, to make money. I'm like, well, I'm saving you 30% on list perfectly too. So we're all work, we're all winning in the end. You're saving just as much money as I'm making. So <laughs> it's like we both win. We might as well have the big companies pay us, and I don't like charge you for you know courses or stuff like that. Because I could, I could potentially put out a course, and I know I could sell the crap out of a course. I literally right now I'm I'm losing money by not making a course, but I don't want to make a course. I'd rather just give out all the information for free. I could probably literally put out a course for a hundred dollars and have at least 20 people sign up, make a quick 2k. If I really wanted to, a lot of people in the chat would pay for it. They, I could also make a brands list too, like a top hundred, top 50 selling brands list. Cause everybody asked me for that too. And I'd rather just put out all the information for free. So I'm leaving money on the table. Um, and the only money I'm taking is my sign up codes, which also save you money. So it that's that's i feel i feel good about putting up sign up codes oh next up is a figs top i put it in the bag i'm sitting here talking about rambling on um figs top it sold for 15 bucks we only pay two dollars and 14 cents for it you scoop the reseller reseller spreadsheet is so good yes the reseller spreadsheet is amazing it is amazing we appreciate you i appreciate you and you too katie plus you deserve for all the free information you help everyone with yep I appreciate that. I don't deserve it. I mean, I'm just giving out free information uh, like other people gave out. And that's what I learned from, but I like to do what I, what I do. How many items do you list today? We try to do 20 per day, 20 per day. Right now we're doing 30 per day because um, we took this week off from thrifting. So I'm using this time to catch up on listings. Uh, what brands do you uh, not buy? Where are your links for the products you use? What brands do you not buy? <laughs> where are the links? Scott, you already know where my links are. They're in my bio. What brands do I not buy? All the brands that I'm not showing you today are the brands that I don't buy. I just bought a Colts helmet. How much do you think I can sell it for? Nothing, because there are no Colts fans left. Once the Colts have a winning season, you can probably sell that for good money. Probably. Maybe. They have to have consecutive good seasons, though. They don't even have a quarterback. Do you guys even have a quarterback? Wait, who's your quarterback? I thought it was like the savior, Matt Ryan, was coming back to save you guys from, from the Falcons, and then that ended up being an absolute flop. Next up, we got a pair of women's rag and bone jeans. We paid $4.28 for these. These sold for $22.50. Uh, 
I think they're going to go first class. What label do you use? I use a Dymo 4XL. I do not suggest to get the 5XL because they make you use Dymo labels, which are very expensive. So the one that I have linked in my bio is actually the IDPRT. It's probably the, one of the cheapest printers on the market right now, and it works perfectly fine. So if you need a printer, I suggest the IDPRT. If I ever something ever happened to my Dymo where I need to buy a new printer, I would just go get the IDPRT. Uh, one that Chris at Peak, Chris at Peak, um, had a partnership with. So I'm selling clothes. I, I don't need. I mean, you could use the bigger bags, Arizona, for like bigger jackets, maybe. But I don't use them. I don't use them at all. There's a way. There's way more brands not bought than bought. Yep. Always check comps. Always check them. Comps are key. Yeah, 11 by 8 by 5. You can buy a couple in the different sizes and see which size works best for you. They're cheap enough. You're going to use them. Just don't buy the super small ones. I made a mistake one time where I bought the super, super small ones on accident. And now we have to use them for like belts. And I literally have like 500 of them. So I don't know what I'm going to do with them. Hopefully one day, uh, maybe when we, uh, if we ever make shot glasses, you guys have asked, people have asked in the chat for us to make shot glasses, like K-Way Shop merch shot glasses. We we'll probably put them in there <laughs> just, to, just to get rid of them. Probably put the shot glass in there to protect it and then put it in a box. That one is shipped. Got three more orders going out. Let's let's do this one since surf's up in the chat. I literally listed this last night. You guys saw me do um, a listing for this. I didn't take photos last night. I did it after the live. So I paid $7.13. I bought this in a bulk buy. You're going to see a bunch of these over the next few weeks because I've been listing a ton of these. Uh, or I have a ton of these lists. I still have like 100 more of these to list. Um, all Polo Ralph Lauren. This one I paid um, $7.13 for. It sold for $17.99 plus ship. So it's a, about a $10 profit. I think it's going to come out to like $9.50. And that's pretty much what I'm going to expect from all 100 of those Polo Ralph Lauren. I'm probably going to be able to list all of these within a day or two. So just imagine if I make an average of $9 profit on each one and I sell 100 of them, that's $900 in profit. And these will sell super fast. So that's the whole reason I'm picking these up. Um, surfs up, using the surfs up method, listing these low plus shipping and uh, they're moving quick. So surfs up all the way. What a rookie. What a rookie. What'd you say? You should have sold it for more chambray. I just listed it for $17.99. I actually got an offer on this, which is weird because I thought I had my listing sent to non-offers and I just countered at the full price and that sold. So maybe I could have listed it for more, but I'm cool with it. Quick sale. I'll take that quick sale. I listed... Um, I listed 12 of these last night, so I'm going to see how many more sell today, today and tomorrow. Where do you find those? A bulk buy? I got this bulk buy literally from being in a thrift store. Um, I had a full cart and a guy walked up to me and he said, he looked in my cart and saw the brands I had in my cart. And he said, uh, do you buy this stuff? Do you have a store or something? And I said, well, I, I kind of do. I have an eBay store. I sell online. And he's like, oh, cool. I think I have most of the brands that you have in your cart, I have at my house and I have like 3000 items. I have literally boxes everywhere of items. I was like, Oh really? And he's like, yeah, if you want to come over and buy some stuff, feel free to. And I came over there and I'm actually going over there again today to buy more stuff from him. So every few days he invites me back over. He goes through his stuff. He's kind of an older gentleman. So he goes through his stuff and sets it off to the side, it takes him a couple days to do that. And then I come back and I buy a bunch more stuff. So um, why, how do you have so much? He used to sell to consignment shops and recently the consignment shops in our area, um, haven't been offering him as much or they're not buying the same stuff that he used to pick up. Like these Polo Ralph Lauren shirts. He used to sell these at consignment. He told me for like 12 bucks. Um, so he'd buy them for five at a thrift store, sell them for 12. Uh, well they would, he would get a $12 profit. So they would sell them for like 25 and he would make the spread, whatever that would be. But they recently stopped doing that, so now he's selling them to me. Um, we might make some reseller boxes here in um, a short while. Um, and he's going to put like a lot of Tommy Bahama long sleeves and stuff like that in it. And we might release those on, on Poshmark. So be on the lookout for that on my Instagram. I will show you what an example of a box looks like before we post it. But it's going to have like a couple Tommy Bahama long sleeve shirts in it. I think eight items is what we're thinking about doing. Eight items. Um eight items for $40 plus Poshmark shipping. So that would be like five something a piece per item. Um, all good inventory, um, just stuff that I passed on because I'd rather focus on stuff like this. 
then pick up the Tommy Bahama shirts. But it's like he's got good stuff. Ted Baker, Tommy Bahama, um, like mid-tier brands. So if you need some store fillers, it'll be a good way to get store fillers. But we'll release those on Poshmark. We're probably – I don't know if we're going to do – any more reseller boxes on whatnot because the shipping is just crazy on whatnot. It doesn't make any sense to me. People who live closer to me are paying more for shipping than people that live farther away for the same amount of inventory when it comes to the eight pound boxes. So we might release those on Poshmark. So everybody has the same shipping. There is no difference in shipping. So we're thinking about doing that, but this is going to be my test run. He just has a whole bunch of stuff he wants to get rid of. And I told him like, if you want to do it through me, We'll just split the profits and you can get rid of your stuff because he wants to, he kind of wants to get his life back because he has a whole bunch of stuff. Next up, Vineyard Vines. It's a Vineyard Vines solid um, yellow shirt. I paid $4.28 for this. It sold for $28.34. It's relisted by Auto Posture and then it's sold. Whatnot. You already know what Whatnot is. Link in my bio. By the way, if you want some merch shirts, everybody who's in the chat, if you want some, this isn't a merch shirt, obviously. Um, but I have those on my Whatnot too. If you sign up to my link in my bio, you get $15 off. And you get the merch shirts, K-Way Shop merch shirts for uh, $10 plus shipping. They're in my uh, they're in my store on whatnot. So go get some merch shirts before they sell out. It doesn't look like they're going to sell out anytime soon, but if you want some merch shirts, go get one. Free shipping versus charges shipping. So we do it. We charge shipping on lower dollar items like those Polo Ralph Lauren shirts. This one was free shipping. It works out to about the same. Like if I were to list this without shipping, I would have listed it for $19.99 or $21.99 plus shipping, somewhere around there. Got my shirt. Love it. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Boop. Boop. All right. This is going to ship for 12 ounces and it's going to Connecticut. On right. Yep. It's on right. $5.04. Been using Surf Up for basic Tommy, uh, Tommy Bahama shirts. Ooh, he'll like that. Tom, basic Tommy Bahama shirt surfs up. I've been selling. Appreciate you uh, joining the team, by the way. Number 205 you are. Sold your merch shirt on Facebook. <laughs> uh, you made a profit on Facebook. <laughs> what scale do you use? I use a Dymo scale. It's linked in my bio. All the products I use on a regular basis are all linked in my bio in my Amazon store. All right, last sale we're going to pack up. This is an Ethereum train set. This is a set of two. Let me show them what you what they look like. Here's one of them. The other one looks exactly the same. These are trailer cars. I paid three dollars and twenty five cents. I got these in a bulk buy. If you want to watch that video, it's up on my YouTube channel of me unboxing all of the stuff or well, most of the stuff from the bulk buy. But I paid three dollars and twenty five cents each, and this one sold for twenty four ninety nine plus shipping. I do charge shipping on all of my collectibles because um, collectors don't really care about paying extra shipping, so that's why I charge it. Um, okay, sales keep coming in. My wife and I are on a roll. Let's go. Hello from Connecticut. What's up? What's up, Connecticut? One of my buddies is from Connecticut. He talks about it all the time. This is very gloomy there. Very gloomy. Not a lot to do. I'm going to binge the YouTube channel today while working. Appreciate you. Yeah, we got all of our live thrifts up on YouTube. Um, tons of content on YouTube. So if you want to go watch it, you can literally watch us thrift for two hours multiple times. There's so much, so many videos. You can't even watch them all in like one day, probably even one week now because we have two hour live thrifts, like m many of those. So go watch it. Appreciate you. All right. So this one, I'm just going to, because it has a little bit of void space in there. See that void space. I'm going to put some paper in there that will keep it from rattling around while it's in shipment. Just like that. <coughs> nice and secured. And we'll take it and we'll seal her up. Appreciate the rose, Ashlyn. There we go. Nice and sealed. And then we'll take a piece of tape, run it around, and this one will be good to go. Just like that. I don't tape the other side. I just tape this way. I haven't had any issues with them. So just do one, one piece of tape works really good. This is going to ship for eight ounces. Probably put the YouTube channel in the background while I'll chill and play new Vegas day. Nice. Uh, the only game I want to pick up that's coming out in the near future is going to be Diablo four. I might actually take a couple, I take a couple nights off from doing lives just to play that game at night. I love, I love the Diablo series. I'm hoping to drop a new video on YouTube today. Would appreciate the support. There you go. Arizona's Pickens putting out a video on YouTube. Go check it out. 
later today. It's going to ship for four dollars and forty-four cents. The buyer paid six sixty-five, so I'm going to make a little bit of profit on the shipping. I don't refund shipping unless the buyer asks for a refund because eBay <laughs> gives us the discounted rates because we pay for store subscriptions, all that, all that jazz. So my neighbor's working on something in the backyard. I'll watch you play. The only game I want to pick up is Pokemon Game Boy Hidden. Game Boy game hidden in the bag I bought. There you go. Play that game. <coughs> All right, that's everything. I still got one more order to pack, but I'm going to do it off live because it's something that sold while I was on or right before I went on live, so I didn't grab it yet. It's a pair of Lucky Brand jeans. I paid five thirty four. They sold for twenty one bucks. It's not that good of a sale. It's kind of a eh sale. But what's up, Riri? Riri just came in right at the end. What's up, Kitchy Mushroom? If you guys have any last minute questions, feel free to drop them in the chat. If not, I am going to go head off and probably going to do some listings. Appreciate you joining the team. Yeah, Diablo is good. I think it comes out in like two weeks. What's up, Eric? Yell at your neighbor. No, he's good. He's out working on a shed. He has a massive shed. He actually offered to build me a shed if I want If I want a massive shed like his. You can literally you can put a second story on a shed if you wanted to. Buyer can call eBay for shipping costs back. eBay will refund them, I guess, but they won't take it from me if they, if they, uh, I don't know if they can, can a buyer actually call eBay and say, Hey, I want my shipping costs back. I don't know if they can do that. Did Kayla vehicle get fixed? Not yet. We still have the rental. They said that hopefully by the, by tomorrow, they'll hopefully have it fixed. But if not, it could actually, they said anywhere between two weeks and a month, but we have the rental for a month. So we don't really care. We like driving in the rental. It's a nice rental. We get it. We get it for free for a month, so we might as well just use it. Appreciate you, uh, Soy. I think that's how you pronounce it. My woman's lucky brand jeans been selling good for me. If you could pick them up at a good price, yeah. These are these are men's lucky brand. By the way, Summer, we shouted you out like multiple times yesterday on live. I don't think you were here, um, but Summer, if you if you're not following her closet on Poshmark, you should because she has really good photos. My husband's truck hasn't got started on. We just dropped ours off. They, they had to order two doors for us. So that's why. And the one of the hinges was on back order. So that's why they it took so long. Otherwise, it would have been done already. Take a vacay with it. We could. We have to drop it off empty uh, because we paid for the gas. I made that mistake. I paid for the gas before we drop it off so we don't have to fill it up. But I was like, crap, now I got to use all the gas. So maybe. Dropped my car at the body shop today. Uh, Kayla got in a minor car accident, so the side of the doors were all jammed in. So we had to we had to drop it off. Um, but luckily, it wasn't her fault, and everything's taken care of for free. So or the insurance covers it. So fun times, fun times. All right, everybody, appreciate you hanging out. Uh, I'm gonna go get some work done. We got the kids coming home in the matter of like five minutes, so not much work will be done. Hopefully, <laughs> not much work will probably be done today. But uh, I'll try to get some um, drafts done. Um, I'm going to get some of those Polo Ralph Lauren shirts done. And then I'll be live later tonight. We might have a special guest on live tonight. Um, I'll see if he wants to come on. If not, we'll just be doing the normal stuff and just uh, get some work done. So appreciate you guys hanging out. And I'll catch you on the next one.